Hello and welcome to Dragon's Pulse, the podcast dedicated to guiding you through the complexities of the Chinese business world. My name is Perola Hammer, and I'm here to be your navigator on this journey. Today we're focusing on what you need to do before you even step foot on a plane to China. Whether it's your first business trip or you're looking to refine your approach, this episode is packed with essential advice to prepare you for success in one of the world's most dynamic markets. China's business environment is as fascinating as it is challenging, blending ancient traditions with cutting-edge innovation. But without proper preparation, you might find yourself at sea in this vast market. Let's start with something that might seem simple, but is absolutely vital. Setting up your digital payment methods. In China, cash is no longer king. Instead, digital wallets like Alipay and WeChat rule. These aren't just payment apps. They're integrated platforms for social media, messaging, and even business transactions. To ensure a smooth experience, Download both apps before your departure. The setup process can be a bit daunting due to international banking nuances, but with a bit of patience and perhaps assistance from your bank, you can link your international bank card to these apps. This step is non-negotiable. Without it, you'll find navigating daily transactions in China surprisingly difficult. While we're on the subject of preparation, let's not underestimate the power of communication. While English is used in major cities and business circles, don't rely on it exclusively. Learning key Mandarin phrases can significantly impact your interactions, demonstrating respect and a willingness to engage with Chinese culture on a deeper level. For business meetings, securing the services of a professional interpreter is a wise investment. The nuances of business language are subtle and you want to ensure your intentions and meanings are perfectly understood. Navigating paperwork is another critical aspect of your preparation. Securing a visa can be a complex process, influenced by factors like your nationality and the specifics of your visit. Start this process early to avoid any last-minute hiccups. It's also prudent to keep digital and physical copies of all your essential documents including your passport, visa, and accommodation details. In the event of loss or theft, having backups can save you from significant trouble. Understanding and adapting to Chinese business etiquette can greatly influence the success of your endeavors. For instance, the act of exchanging business cards is not just a formality, but a significant cultural ritual. Always use both hands when giving and receiving cards, and take a moment to study the card respectfully before putting it away. This gesture is seen as a sign of respect and can set the tone for your future interactions. Additionally, punctuality is paramount in the Chinese business context. Arriving late is not only seen as unprofessional, but also as a sign of disrespect. Lastly, let's talk about the digital landscape. The Great Firewall of China means that many familiar services from Google to social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter, are inaccessible. Before leaving, consider setting up a virtual private network, or VPN, to ensure you can access these services. However, use such services judiciously, always keeping in mind the importance of respecting local laws and regulations. Armed with these preparations, you're not just ready to visit China, you're ready to engage with it on a level that goes beyond the surface. It's about showing respect, demonstrating readiness to adapt, and understanding the vast cultural and business landscape that China offers. With the right approach, you'll not only navigate this market, you'll thrive in it. Thank you for joining me, Perola Hammer, on the inaugural episode of Dragon's Pulse. I look forward to exploring more facets of Chinese business culture and strategies with you in future episodes. Whether you're gearing up for your first trip or seeking to deepen your business relationships in China, remember, preparation is key. Until next time, farewell and good fortune on your business journey. 再见!